name is Abir and I'm from Skills Girl. And today I will be showing you how to create your own filter pane with your own visualizations in Power BI. So let's get started. So you can change the theme here from the view tab and then select the drop down button and select anything you like here but I will be choosing the purple one which is the bloom one here. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do here is to create some visuals first. So let's quickly create that. I will simply click on the donor chart here and then select the category and then select the total sales from the measure table and there we have our visual. Next, now let's create another visual and here I want to create a bar chart. So let's select that and select the customer company and also the amount. And you can see our visual has been created. And now we want to increase the size and adjust both of these visuals so that they're visible and in the center of the page. Now let's create the filter pane. To do that, we will click on the insert tab and from the shape, select triangle so that there is some kind of pop up here. And that's the idea here. We will be placing our filters over here in this rectangle. Now let's add in the colors here. You can keep it whatever you want it to be and also adjust the transparency as well. And now let's add our filters from here. Now we need our year filter from the data table and then select the visualization to be slicer here. Now adjust that within the filter pane. And now we can add another filter here. So I will be adding the customer country and select the slicer visual for this one as well. And now you can adjust this so that it is visible. Now let's add our button here. We can choose any button. I will choose the left button here and place it inside the filter pane. And then I will choose another right button and you can add that outside the filter pane. This is so that we can hide or show the filter pane. You can adjust the size of these both buttons so that they are the same. And now let's add our bookmarks. From the view tab, we will add the bookmark at the selection pane and now click on add for the bookmark and then edit it and write in the show filter. Add another bookmark and then write in hide filter pane. If you click on them, of course, nothing will happen here because they are not linked to any buttons. So let's link them. This is where the selection pane comes in. The selection pane allows us to click on the specific icon we have and these items are in some layout format. Like for example, if we move our shape to the top and then the shape would be above all the visuals. But that's not what we want, so let's put it back to its place. Now for the show filter pane, I don't want this item to be visible. So I click on them and then hide them. And now this is the status for hiding the filter pane. So we will click on these three dots here and then click on update. And now this is the view that we are currently seeing and is saved on the hide filter pane. And now if I click on show filter pane, that is how it looks like. Now for the show filter pane, I don't want to see this button here, which is on the outside of our filter pane. So and so that's our first button. Click on that and then hide it. And now click on the three dots on the show filter pane and then click on update. Hide means only this button is visible and show means that this filter pane is visible. And now we need to add in trigger buttons. So if someone clicks on the right arrow option here, we have the filter pane. And then when someone clicks on the left arrow option, we can hide the filter pane. Now let's click on the button here and in the format button option, we have action. Click on and then instead of back, we can say it is a bookmark and then we will say that it should be a hide filter pane. And we will do the same for the other button as well. We will click on action and turn it on and instead of type back, it should be bookmark. And then we will say it's a show filter pane. And now you can see this by clicking on the control and click button. You can see our buttons are working the way we want them to work. And now we have created our filter pane. Now, if someone is adding some filters to our visualization, like for example, let's select a random filter here. And then I click on the hide filter pane and we see that the data is resetting and we, we are getting the original data that we set it before. And now to fix that, what we will do is open the bookmark pane. And now for the show filter pane, click on the more option. And we have some checkboxes here. 
Now we will uncheck the data box here so our data does not get reset after we apply the filter. And then we will do the same for the height filter pane as well. And now we can add in the filters again from the filter pane and then click on hide. And there, you can see our filters are not resettings and we have the visuals just as we want. This is a very useful tip here. And now you can adjust your filter as you want. You can add in colors and icons for the left and right buttons as well. You can add your own icons as well. So this ends our lab here. Thank you so much for watching.